Uh, greetings from Chelan County PUD in the great city of Wenatchee. Uh, my apologies for not being able to be there personally this evening to meet and greet you and to uh, accept this uh, award and recognition. But I've, uh, by the time you see this, I will have gone through surgery and will be in the recuperative stages and uh, just didn't want to push the envelope that hard. Um, I think it's important, and those of you who know me well will understand the next statement, that when President Randy Smith called to let me know that I had received this recognition, I was truly speechless. I mean, I was without words. Uh, I think maybe the first time genuinely in my life that that had occurred, but thank God it didn't last long. Uh, I'd first like to thank my fellow commissioners for uh, the opportunity that they provided in, in putting together this award and recognition, working with our staff to be able to uh, put things together, clean me up, and make me look presentable to the public. So again, thanks to my fellow commissioners. Uh, I'd like to say that this evening's presentation that I'm making is a continued commitment to the purposes of, of the state association, uh, to the purposes of public power, public water, public utilities in general, including wastewater and, and tele telecommunications. It's really uh, important that we understand that we serve the public. Uh, they own the organization that we serve. Um, and grateful to be able to do so. So it's not about you, it's not about me, it's about us and the service that we provide. It's a stewardship of public trust. It's, uh, it's about principled leadership. It's about uh, who you serve, not who you are. Um, the award is also uh, some recognition for your community service above and beyond your commitment and service to the PUD. Um, in that respect, it's a shared award, and that's going to be my theme for this evening, um, the, the shared award and how that comes about. Um, I have to go back to my fourth grade year, nine years old, in public school to begin to differentiate out some of the things that uh, have allowed me to be uh, in some level of success as, a, as a, an adult. Um, the class was structured in a very different way than most classes. Uh, I became an educator and committed myself not to behave as my fourth grade teacher behaved. But one of the things that she did was to divide the class into an A row, a B row, a C row, a D row, and an F row. And about every three weeks she would total up the points in the class and arrange us by uh, academic order. And uh, there were only two of us in the F row and my consolation of fourth grade is I was one seat ahead of Bill Root. Um, and also in fourth grade, I was uh, labeled at that time as what was called a reluctant reader. We didn't have special education or didn't identify special needs. Uh, now I would be classified as dyslexic and specific programs could be, you know, would be developed to help me learn to read and to read more effectively. But at that time, they just simply took you out of class and sent you to the library to work with a librarian. And fortunately, Mrs. Taylor gave up trying to teach me to be a better reader knew that I loved biographies and, and would present a half hour twice a week new biographies for me to read. And in one of those books that she gave me was a great black Southern educator, a college president, who had a sign on his desk that said, find a need and fill it. And every spring he would meet with each one of his graduates and he would ask them the question, uh, so what are you gonna do now that you're graduating from college? And some would give the proverbial uh, younger person response of, I don't know. And he would always point to a sign and he would just say, then find a need and fill it and you'll find that yourself having a fulfilled life. And so as a fourth grader, I remember that very clearly. And so my purpose in life um, was twofold. One is I began to recognize, and it's a, there's a great quote by Will Rogers uh, last, a couple weeks ago was his 140th birthday, and so one evening I was reading Will Rogers' quotes. And uh, one of his quotes was that uh, there's two ways that a man learns. One is by reading, and the other one is by associating with smart people. And uh, as a fourth grader, I realized I was a reluctant reader, and I was never gonna be that, that reader that became smart by reading. If I was going to do things that were smart, I was gonna have to surround myself by smart people. And so when I coupled the idea of finding a need and fill it and surrounding myself by smart people, 
I began to discover a pathway that has led to my, uh, my adult well-being. Um, so you don't get where you get in life on your own. You get there because you have a shared existence, a shared experience with other people. Uh, first, I'd like to acknowledge my, marriage li my married life. Uh, Joyce Lynn and I have been married now over 52 years, and when we met, it was at the end of my freshman year in college. And uh, at that point, I had a 1.97 GPA. And my last semester in college, after being married to her for two and a half years, I had a 3.96. So it's sufficient to say that if you want to be successful in life, marry someone who's smarter than you. And uh, I was able to do that. We had three sons who were smart. And so I just nested into that home environment and, and wrote it out. Even, even the dog was smart. Um, our sons have been successful, and I'd like to attribute that to you know mom's genetic contribution. Um, in my profession, I was fortunate enough when I got to Wenatchee High School as a social studies teacher to um, be in the department that was rated number one by the state superintendent's office. And so again, professionally, I was surrounded by a group of smart people who took their uh, role, their responsibilities as educators very, very serious. And they were smart enough to carry it off. And again, I just simply nested inside of that environment, wrote it out in, in the comfort of being surrounded by people who had oftentimes better ideas and better experiences than I did. Uh, I became a school administrator and was fortunate enough to be mentored by the late Dick Johnson and, and the current Dick Sharman, two of the most talented and gifted people I've had the opportunity to work with in life. Um, and again, uh, I was able to have ideas. They were smart enough to, tutel, uh, to provide tutelage to uh, allow me then to carry out those ideas and to make contributions uh, inside of the school district and the community. Uh, at the PUD, uh, I'd like to give tribute to two past commissioners, Norm Gutzweiler and Karna Berggren, for their, uh, their intelligence and their willingness to provide leadership to me. Uh, steel sharpens steel, we didn't always agree, and I had to buy a few drinks on occasion to make amends for crosswords and, and, and some difficult passages. But they were smart, and they uh, pointed out very clearly areas where I needed to improve. Currently, I'm surrounded by President Gary Arsenault, Vice President Steve McKenna, uh, Ann uh, Congdon as our secretary, and Randy Smith as the other commissioner. Uh, again, a commission that is, is very bright, uh, very intelligent, and uh, you know we work well together, and I appreciate their leadership. Past-wise, at Chelan County PUD, we've had three, I've had the experience of working with three general managers, Rich Riazzi, John Janey, and currently Steve Wright. And in all cases, they've had skill sets and intelligent levels that have been uh, significant. And again, um, just the privilege of being able to work with someone who is very capable and, and by far beyond my capabilities. At Wapuda, I would like to acknowledge George Kahn as our executive leader, John Counts, Lena, Carol, Jamie, Liz, and Stephanie. Um, without all of you guys, this organization accomplishes little. And the collective intelligence among that group is, is really significant. Pardon me. Essentially, in life, I've accomplished basically nothing on my own. Uh, but what I've tried to do is to find a need and fill it, surround myself with smart people and caring people, maintain a uh, stewardship of public trust, and act in a principled format. Uh, working with others has allowed us to become greater than our individual self. I'm grateful to all of you for your support, let us continue to work together as we move forward in doing the people's work. Thank you, and I uh, humbly appreciate the uh, reward and the recognition, the award. Uh, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart.